friends, for several years now, I've been lecturing to small group like yours on the subject of morality and a clean mind. And as the years have rolled on, it has been increasingly and painfully brought to my attention that the majority of you bastards, I mean good people, are truly possessed of evil minds. So in order to prove my point, I have prepared two little stories. The first, a children's tale, and the second, a scene from that great opera, Carmen. I have chosen to begin with that sweetest of all forms of storytelling, the fairy tale. Probably all of you children have heard the story of the little Dutch hero who stuck his finger up a dike to save his loved ones from destruction. Well, this is the story of an equally famous American hero named Jack. Now Jack was a very small boy, and because of his size, the proudest of all his possessions was an extra-large beanstalk. In fact, I might say that Jack had one of the longest beanstalks in his whole community. Jack, however, not being of Greek extraction, in time got tired of working under other people and decided to start out on his own. Now he had always heard that Hollywood was the best place for his talents. You know Hollywood, that's the land of fruit and nuts. Either you go nuts or you, you'll usually go back home where you came from. So Jack hopped a train called the Flamingo Special. It was named after the Flamingo Club. That's the club where all men go who like their vice versa. And just as the train pulled into the Hollywood station to let our little hero Jack off, why, the fairy in our fairy tale came dashing madly up to the train window and cried, Oh, Jack, what a lovely beanstalk you have. And that was the end of Jack's tale. Secondly, as I've told you, I have decided to delve briefly into the arts. And I have taken a section from that very famous opera, Carmen. This whole scene begins as Carmen is sitting on her piazza watching the bullfights. Carmen, I might add, has a rather large piazza, as most wealthy women do, if you've ever noticed. And uh, at any rate, this is a very tense scene. All of the matadors are matting around, and the toradors are touring around, and the piscadors, uh, they come leading the bull into the arena. Now all these men see Carmen, who is a very pretty little lass, and they bow down very low before her. And at this point, the bull comes into the arena and sees him making silly gooses of themselves and decides that he'll do a bit of goosing of his own. So he sneaks up behind two of these men and with one fell swoop shoves them both right into Carmen's box at the same time, which isn't comfortable in any man's language. Well, these two men, Don Jose and Escamillo, happen to be rivals for Carmen's affections. So as soon as they realize that they both entered their loved one's box, they become very angry. Well, they start hitting each other and beating each other and rolling around on the floor together, and finally they decided they liked it better that way and get up and kill Carmen. Well, this infuriates the bull to such a degree, and the Spaniard sitting in the grandstand gets so excited that as a climax to the scene, the bull rushes right into the grandstand and makes all the Spanish fly. Probably the first time it's been done in quite that way.